Welcome to the December 1st, uh, 2022 meeting of the Riverfront Design Committee. My name is Jonathan Heisel and I'm the chair of the committee. When called on, applicants and speakers will come to the front podium to speak. Only one person at a time should come to, to the podium. Don't approach the podium until vacated by the previous speaker. Speak into the microphone, please, and identify yourself and provide your address for the record when you begin speaking. Address your comments, questions, and testimony to the committee. Limit your comments to three minutes. It is unnecessary to repeat testimony pre previously given by others. Citizens may address the committee on agenda items by responding to the chair's call for speakers during discussion on each item and signing the speaker's log on the podium. All comments must be relevant to the item. The chair or presiding officer may, in his or her discretion, prohibit a person from addressing the committee and or remove that person from the council chambers if that person commits any disorderly or disruptive behavior. Please see the agenda for more information about these requirements. If you parked in the Sheridan Walker parking garage north of John Rex Elementary School or the Arts District parking garage immediately south of City Hall, staff can provide a parking validation ticket for you. The agenda and documents are located at https colon forward slash forward slash okc.primegov.com forward slash public forward slash portal. You would then need the Riverfront Design Committee meeting, then click on an agenda item and the relevant documents will come up uh, below the item. Desiree, will you please call the roll? Committee Member Heisel. Present. Committee Member Montoya. Present. Committee Member Dean. Present. Committee Member Howard. Committee Member Larson. Committee Member Postick. Present. Co Committee Member Templeton. Committee Member Ramirez. Present. Chair, we have quorum. Thank you. And with that, I'll uh, move to item two, approval of the minutes. Do I have a motion to move for the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes from the no November 3rd, 22 meeting. Thank you. Do I have a second? Montoya, I'd like to second. So that was a Postic Montoya? Mm hmm. Very good. It looks like Thank it you. passed by three. On to item three, cases withdrawn, none. Item four, continuance request, none. Uh, item five is consent docket. There are none at this time. Uh, item six, cases for individual consideration. Thank you. Yes, we, we have one case today. Okay. And as soon as the screen changes, I will go through the pictures. So um, this is the, and if I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry, Hajoka, Hajoka, um, which is a wholesale plumbing facility that's on s southwestern, just south of the railroad tracks. A uh, very large piece of property, and it's immediately north of some soccer fields that Oklahoma City has. Um, and so you can see from this one the, the building on the front and then the yard in the back where they have a lot of their product. Um, they've, they are having an issue with um, things disappearing. And um, so this is in a pretty much industrial area um, with businesses that have been around for a while. Um, so there's the railroad track, and then the, uh, this facility is just to the south or to the right of that. And I will go back to this. Um, so this facility, which is uh, 22,500 square feet, according to the county, was built in 1998. So it's been around for a while operating um, in that area of Oklahoma City. And this proposal is to almost double the size of the building, 20,250 square foot addition that they're putting on the back 
which is where they have all the gravel, where they have all of the, um, their inventory outside. So this will allow them to have more of their items inside a building, more secure. Um, in addition, they're going to be uh, paving parking, which, and I can't even, I can't see where the hand is, there it is, which is in this area right here um, to add parking, because there are this facility, and hopefully, I don't know if they're gonna add employees or not when they add this addition, but they have several employees that work there now. Um, there's been minimal activity there that I've done. They put in a fence and there was some signage. Um, and there were no issues. Um, I'm going to go to some pictures that they sent to me. Um, they're going to actually use the same material, same color as the building that's there now. Um, with, which is metal, which does have some relief. It's not just flat. And they're adding to the right of this one. Um, so you can see the amount of inventory they have outside, and this will allow them to get that inside. So um, and let me go to that one, and I'll leave it there. So the, um, if you have any questions for me, um, I'll be happy to answer, the, answer them. The applicant and the owner's representative um, are here, and they can answer any questions you might have. I could have put this on consent because, as you saw, the staff had no issues, in the, but this was the only item on the agenda, so I put it up for individual consideration, <laughs> so. Okay, thank you. And staff's recommending approval of the request. And it only came to you because of the size, because I have a 10,000 square foot limit, but the, since the original building was over that already, anything would have had to come to you, irregardless of the fact that the addition is over 20,000 square feet. Okay, thank you. Is there any Questions or comments? Committee, would you would you all like to present any additional information? Just introduce yourself, Brandon. Good morning. My name is Brandon Cutts with Brandmark Construction. Um, what we're going to do here is add some landscaping to the front as well to make the property look a little bit nicer because I see that Willer Park is really starting to come around. We're hoping to continue that, um, that trend to start reviving that area. Uh, and also, you know, the amount of material that is on the ground is a little bit unsightly, but it is also in, uh, unsecure. So there are some homeless that we're dealing with that are, that are coming into the railroad area that is causing a bit of an issue because railroad easement and city don't really speak very well together. So it's, it's kind of a, a secure issue, but also just to liven up the community as well sure. and offer some more jobs. Very good. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I did have one. Yeah, my mic's on. I did have one comment or question about the uh, the frontage. I see that it looks like some landscaping is being added, and I did see on the aerial there is a sidewalk on the south side of the driveway. Was there discussion about continuing the sidewalk along the right of way on that west on that east side of Western Avenue? Good question. Okay. Um, we did not have a discussion about that. Let me let me flip to one that I can actually see. That's right. There was a, an aerial that had. Can you go to that? Yeah. Let me. Let, okay. I, bear with me. I'll get out of this one. Looks fairly new.
So I apologize for not catching that. Um, we were just talking about it because it looks like the city put a sidewalk in on the piece in front of the soccer field. And so they have no objection to us adding a, requ a requirement that they um, install a sidewalk across their frontage on Western. Okay. If, um, and we would work with them on um, matching where the city has the sidewalk uh, located and the width of that. Yeah, okay. I think that answers my question. So I would just, if, if everyone agrees with what that is, if you're gonna read off of this, you know, subject to the condition of installing a sidewalk along Western Avenue frontage. At this time I'll entertain any motions. I'd like to make a motion to approve the application on the basis that the project complies with the regulations and guidelines of the Scenic River Overlay Design District Zoning Ordinance as referenced in Section C of, C of the staff report with the condition that a sidewalk is installed along this property frontage along Western Avenue. Thank you, John. I'll second. Thank you. So that's a apostic dean motion. Motion passes. Thank you. Waiting for the next thing to come up. Okay, I think that is all for that item. And item seven, other business, there is none. Item eight, communications. There were several here. Anything you want to add to that, Laura? Um, the first one was you all took action on a spud mm -hmm. earlier in the year, and, and this was the SPUD was finally got through the process and he was able to get his building permit that had been issued, submitted a year ago. So that's what that one is. Um, number two is a house that's gonna be built between uh, Walker and the new lower Scissortail Park. Okay. So I think that's the first of many I think we're gonna start having in that area. Okay. And then the sign down there is actually for OU Rowing. It's been several years, but we had a case come before you for this building for the it's OU women's rowing and they wanted to put a sign on the river side of the building so very good thank you item b comments from planning staff planning department staff we have a meeting next month okay january 5th please check i'll try to send out an early quorum call to make sure we have enough people i was really worried about today i wasn't sure we would get five of you <laughs> Holidays are a rough time to get everybody here for a meeting. So, and, and Katie, I think you wanted to make an announcement about the training. Um, just so some of you are new, but uh, we annually have a commission committee training. Last year we did it in March and we're gonna shoot for about that same time this year. It's usually about a half day. Um, we provide um, some food, coffee, um, try to make it an enjoyable experience uh, to just talk about serving on our design review and other commissions and committees, and we'll get you guys details on specific date, time, location when we get that finalized. Uh, if there are particular topics that you think would be helpful for the commission committee training, please um, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll try to incorporate that. Yeah. We had a lot of you at, at the one earlier this year, so I'm looking forward to having that big of a representation this time. Very good. Yes, we're, we're going to start having competitions, and the committee that has the most people attend gets like a T-shirt or something. Or maybe they get uh, some chocolate candy. There you go. Nice. <laughs> some like sort it. of prize. RDC represents. All right. Co comments from uh, item C, comments from other committee members? All right. The next meeting date, as mentioned, uh, uh, regular commission meeting at committee meeting is Thursday, January 5th, 2023. And with that, no other thing, I'll adjourn. Thanks. Thank you.